Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to get this sort of dramatic purplish pinkish eye look. I just thought it was great for summer, I really like the colors, so I'm just going to take you through step by step and show you how to get this look. I'm going to start off by applying NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk all over my lid and then just blending it out with my finger. going in with white from the Lorac Pro palette and I'm just putting that all over my lid for a base shadow. This is just going to help the other shadows blend a lot easier. And the main palette I'm going to be using for this I purchased off of eBay for about 10 or 11 dollars and I will put the link below if I can find it. So I'm taking that orange shadow and just blending that right above my crease to act as a transition shade. I'm going in with this pinky shade and I'm just going to blend that right into my crease and you want to just keep blending and adding more and blending and adding more until you get the intensity that you want. I'm going to take these two pinkish purplish shades and mix them together on a smaller pencil brush and I'm going to take that into my crease as well and also into the outer corner and again with this you just want to keep um, blending and if you want it more intense just add a little bit more and blend a little bit more. You just want to make sure that it's well blended. Take this color from the Wet n Wild Petal Pusher palette and apply that to my lid. And now I'm just going back in with those two purple shades to define my crease a little bit more. taking this L'Oreal hip liner in black and I am tight lining my eyes and I'm sorry that I'm out of frame but I put my head down too low and you can't really see it. And for my wing liner I'm using this Lorac liquid liner. I love this stuff. It's like super super waterproof. My eyes water a lot and this thing will last me all day. It doesn't matter how much my eyes water. It doesn't smudge or anything. I really really love it. So I'm just going to use that to make a thin line across my top lashes and wing it out a little. For the bottom lashes, I'm taking this 24-7, Urban Decay 24-7 eye pencil in Ransom and smudging it onto my lower lash line and then I'm going to go back in with that same pencil brush and those two purpley colors that I used in my crease and I'm just going to blend it out and then you'll see that I also um, pick up a little bit of the orange and go over top of that. For the inner corner, I'm just taking this Wet n Wild Idolize pencil and just popping that in there and then going over that with this color from the uh, Wet n Wild Petal Pusher palette. And these two together are just sort of, um, sort of like duo chromey, I guess. It kind of reminds me of Stars and Rockets from MAC. And then after I've done that, I'm going to curl my lashes and apply 
mascara to my top and bottom lashes and for that I am using the L'Oreal Miss Manga Mascara. Now you will see that I did apply lashes and the lashes I used were from Creme. I had never used them before so I didn't know what they looked like on but they looked beautiful on the package and they are beautiful lashes. I just think for me they are a little dramatic but since I had already applied them I left them on of course. Um, feel free to to not wear lashes if you're not a lash person it's not necessary I think this would look beautiful either way I just wanted to wear them so yeah now I'm going in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and just contouring a little on my cheeks and forehead and then I am going to go in with the Milani's, Bless, Milani's Blush and Coralina for my cheeks Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!